Hello everyone, welcome back. This time I'm using again the round mold from Mold and Shapes and the matching coaster holder. So I already brushed my silver leaf from the um, Colorberry Aura box into my mold. And I guess I don't need to tell you how to do it, you just Use a silicone brush or your fingers and you just press the um, flakes into the mold. Now I'm dividing my resin and I'm using 40 grams of resin for my white. It's a crystal white from Miss Colorberry. And by the way, the resin I'm using is the B20 resin from Dippon. So I'm giving it a good stir. And now I'm putting a little bit of resin into another cup. And I'm using the pearl white. Also giving this a very good stir because, you know, if you don't stir this proper, there's still mica which will be floating on the top and you will see it later in your end result and it's not very nice. So make sure you stir it up very, very well. So now my third color. And this is the Aquamarine from the Carrot Box from Miss Colorberry. So I'm very curious about this color. Never used it before. And look at this. It's a fantastic shade of blue. I'm quite a blue girl, you know. I, I really like blue, even though maybe some people didn't notice so far. But I like blue a lot. Blue and red are my colors. <laughs> yeah, I'm also, also stirring this up very well. And now I'm putting a little bit of interest in there. This is um, the chrome drizzle from Colorberry. And some of the golden um, crackles. Yeah, there I put something into my mold. Always the same. You, you work on top of your mold and you drip things in there. So I'm giving this also a good stir. Um, by the way, the mold, the round molds are from Mold and Shapes. Um, I'm sure you know, <laughs> you already noticed that I'm mainly working with the molds from Mold and Shapes. If you're interested in those molds, just um, check out their website. It's in my description box. And um, yeah, um, if you use the promo code PT5, you get 5% discount on every purchase order. So before I start pouring, I just clean my mold again. And now I'm going around with the clear. Just um, I'm starting with the silver and I'm ending at the silver. So I'm doing this now with everyone with every of the coaster molds and now i'm pouring my crystal white on top just touching it a little bit and i'm going around You can see I'm wearing my glasses. I'm also wearing the safety goggles. Um, yeah, there are the glasses. I'm sorry. I meant the respirator and also um, gloves. So everything is okay. Now, beside the um, white, I'm pouring the aquamarine mica. And I like this color a lot. And I think it matches very well with um, the silver flakes. So 
that's this done. I like this a lot and um, this pour actually is also inspired by Miss Kala Perry because she does awesome work and yeah, I just like it. <laughs> and now I'm using the um, pearl and on top the clear as you can see. And I'm filling up my mold till it's rather full. And now I'm pouring on top of the silver a little bit of my um, drizzle crackle mix. <laughs> and I'm giving this a good stir, a uh, good torch. And now my next one, again, the pearl. And the clear. Yeah, still need a little bit of the clear to fill it up. And again, a little bit of my accessory mix, I call it, <laughs> on top of the silver. And now my third one, I'm doing the same. I like this technique a lot because it gives very, very um, beautiful effects. And I think those coasters are looking really elegant. They are really beautiful. So I'm repeating this with every of the um, coasters. Just quickly torching again before I do my third, uh, my fourth one, and again around with the pearl. And clear on top. So, you can already see in the first two um, coasters how the design is going and what the white is doing. The white is really dragging from outside in. It just floats over the blue and I really like it. So I'm putting a little bit more of the drizzle chrome crackle mix into or on top of my silver and now I'm giving it a torch again and you may be very careful with the torch I know that the guys from mold and shapes they don't like people using the torch but for me it's really easier but just be careful because it, you can easily burn your mold so far it didn't happen to me but well you never know so now I'm busy with my coaster holder and I'm sorry that you cannot see all the legs. Um, yeah, I didn't see it so good when I was setting up my camera that, um, yeah, that you cannot see the third and the fourth leg. But I think you can still see what I'm doing with the other two, so don't worry. So first I put um, the white because I actually run out of clear and now the aquamarine on top and the pearl pouring into my legs again. And yeah, you see, there's only a little, little, little bit of clear left. So I really need to squeeze this out. <laughs> and by the way, this um, is a mix master, also from Miss Colorberry. And I like it a lot because it's quite heavy and you can easily stir up your resin. It's fantastic. Now I'm putting clear on top of my legs for the coaster holder 
And I hope people you don't mind. Um, this time I'm only posting my video in English. Sometimes, you know, time, yeah, it's a time issue to, yeah, to do the video in both languages or to upload two videos. I hope you don't mind. But I'm sure I will be doing German videos again. But I think English is the main language. So I hope it's okay for all the Germans who are watching. <laughs> yeah, I put some more of the crystal white in there. And now my little bit of clear. And I'm putting into the center what I've left from my drizzle chrome mix. Just trying to draw petals or, or patterns patterns <laughs> so I was just yeah playing around to see what would the resin do at the end so I have no idea Yeah, they are overfilled a little bit, um, one of the legs, because you need to be careful. You may only top them really to the edge, but please don't dome them. Otherwise, they don't fit into the holder. This is very, very important. I always say this, but sometimes, you know, I'm too hasty with pouring and then I, I just put too much in there. That's why I had to take a little bit out. But when you look at the coasters, you can really see how nicely um, yeah, the white is floating. And I really like it. With the coaster holder, I'm not yet sure how this will turn out, but we will see. With the coasters itself, I'm quite happy so far. Yeah, I'm cleaning up my mold a little bit. And then I thought, no, I need to need to do something because the block of white, yeah, it was a little bit much. But like I said, I ran out of my clear and I had white left, so I just put the white in there. And at the end, it's the holder and it doesn't matter if it looks a little bit different. I like it um, when it's not always the same. That's not always looking like the coasters itself. So we will see. <laughs> yeah, a little bit um, of the clear that now is still on the bottom of my container. At the moment it looks like, a, well, I don't know. Like you dropped something into water or, well. <laughs> yeah, I'm really getting the last drip out of, out of this container. There's nothing left. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, you use maybe a little bit too much to mix your colors and then you forget about the um, the clear that you needed a little bit more. So now I'm taking the stick and I, I drew a little bit, you know, like swirls around just to give it a little bit of interest because I was not sure what what's going to happen. So yeah, again, a quick torch. Like I said, very carefully. Don't put the flame too high. And yeah, cleaning my mold. I really like it that mold and shapes always have the um, mix mixing um, or matching coaster holder to the coasters. I think this is great. And, and yeah, you have your coasters in one place and not each coaster flying around and I really like it. So now I'm giving my legs a little bit of the swirl. And 
and we will see how they will look like. Also the other two, I'm again I'm sorry, um it was offline. You cannot see it, it's off center. Not offline. <laughs> Sometimes excuse me for my English because you know you're just talking and yeah, then the you think the right thing and the wrong word comes out. So I take you down for a close-up and yeah, let's have a look. I like, I like it a lot when you see there's this white ring around this gorgeous. This is almost like I used a ribbon cup or something. <laughs> it's funny. And this is my coaster holder and we will see what the white will be doing. Yeah, and now you see all four legs. So, this is now 24 hours later and time for unmolding. I'm starting with the holder. And the legs don't look very spectacular on the other side. Now I'm getting my holder out and well <laughs> all my glitter dropped but I actually like the top side a lot and made a wonderful pattern there and there's no rule what side to use you just use the side where you think it's the best and I like this one a lot so and now I'm taking my coasters out and they are put that I'm really taking um, the top side and I'm really happy that the effect stayed the way they are they were um, when I yeah when I stopped pouring when I put you down for a close up and I think it's really beautiful and they have a lot of depths and with um the flakes, the silver flakes on the bottom and also um, my mix with the drizzle and the crackles. Yeah, it looks like you really look deep into the mold. A lot of clear and yeah, I like it. So, again, I'm taking you down for a close-up very soon and I wonder what you think about them. I hope you can see the depths and also the nice effect with my um, flakes and drizzle crackles. Again, the coaster holder. And this is the other side. There's a sort of crackle effect with the white, but um, this is not what I was going, uh, what I was after. I wanted um, the top side. So, anyway, I hope you like this video. And if you like it, um, please give me a thumbs up. And I would say I see you for my next video. Take care, guys. And bye bye.